Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to DDP. I'm going to be your instructor for the year, Mr. Schwartz, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Before we get further into what DDP is, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how to navigate my course and how to access all of the different things that you're going to need. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that um, you need to know is that everything that we're going to be doing basically lives in Google and on the Google platform. So this here is your doc where all of the different um, Google apps live. And what we're going to be using most are the classroom, the drive, and the docs. Okay, so the classroom is the first thing that uh, we're going to look at because that's going to be the platform in which um, we're going to be communicating. Here are all of the classes that you're going to be having. These are my classes, not yours, but it should look similar. We're going to go into here and Google Classroom is divided into two main sections. There is the classwork and the stream section, at least as far as this class is concerned. Let's start with the classwork section. The classwork section is where we're going to go to be receiving um, assignments and for you to be uploading work if you should need to. Um, so you're going, there's going to be an assignment there and you're going to be uploading that week's assignment to the relevant assignment, of course. And um, this is how we're going to be um, accessing our classwork. Everything here is going to have all of the resources you need for your assignment. So once you click on the assignment that has been scheduled for that day or whichever one you're working on, attached to it is going to have all of the different resources that you need, uh, images or whatever else, videos and all that. So this is the work section, is the classwork, and stream is the communication section. This is where we're going to be asking questions and I'm gonna be giving you answers. It's also gonna be where you get and take attendance, all right? So um, here is a live feed, you can see the cursor here, and whatever you type there, I'm gonna be notified when something is typed in the stream, and it's gonna be public for all of your classmates to also see. This is important just in case other classmates have the same question and the answer can answer multiple people's questions. So also this is important because we will not uh, presumably be in person, all right? So this is a way for me to uh, get in touch with you and me to answer your questions in real time without being in the same space, all right? So we're really gonna be utilizing this. So I'm gonna be basically giving you an assignment or a lesson, and then I'm going to be fielding the stream for your questions. All right, so that's how that's going to go. Attendance is going to be posted daily. I'm going to uh, put the date on the stream and a question such as, I don't know, something um, that either uh, is a question or are you present, absent, late, something like that. And you basically just have to chime in uh, the same as you would with any class. So when you chime in at the beginning of the period, you are on time up to about, I would say five, 10 minutes. Um, after that, you are considered late when you chime in. And then if you don't do it at all, you're of course absent. So look for attendance, the message from the Google stream. You should get a notification on your email, all right? So the stream is for attendance and asking questions and receiving answers. Classwork is for um, receiving assignments and uploading work should you need. Okay, so that is that section of it. Um, another section of it is the drive. Okay, the drive is a way for you to save your work. Um, you will presumably be working on many computers, uh, maybe at home, maybe in school. If you are working on computers and school, and maybe at home, you'll, you, you will definitely be sharing them with many other people. Some people have similar names. Um, some people uh, may throw out other people's uh, work. Lots of things can happen. So we want to protect ourselves from that. To do this, what we can do is we can use the drive as a safe space to save our work so we can access it, whether you're at home or whether at school, it's backed up and you don't have to worry about losing it. To do that, you go to this um, new section here where it has the plus symbol and you do file or folder upload, all right? So this is just an extra layer for you to um, protect yourself. No matter where you are, you have your work. Okay, so that's the drive. 
moving on, we're going to access the docs. The docs will be um, especially important because you're gonna be asked to keep something called an engineer's notebook. An engineer's notebook is an open document that's going to be regularly updated with each new assignment. So it's ongoing and it will be checked um, in an ongoing way. So this is a live document that will, that will save things as it goes along um, to your drive automatically. Um, and it can be updated and those updates are also um, made in real time. So this engineer's notebook is gonna have a title page that's gonna have your name, the class, and just the words engineer notebook. You can decorate this however you want. It's gonna have a table of contents on the second page that's gonna be updated with each new assignment. And then each entry is gonna be uh, from the first assignment on. Instead of downloading your, your engineer's notebook and then submitting it to Google Classroom, the way that you're gonna share this is through the share button. Um, here, uh, you're going to be putting my email. Um, for now, we'll say it's eschwartz at bths.edu. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to be using my um, DOE or my school um, email. So I'm going to get back to you. But this is how you share it. All right. And I'll be able to click a link or whatever, look at it, and then grade you from there. Okay, so we're going to close this. All right, so we have covered, uh, this field is gonna pop up. Okay, so I'm gonna do done. All right, so, so far what we've covered is we've got the drive, we've got the uh, Google Classroom, and we've got the documents. Okay, so we're going to move on to something else. Okay, let me go over here. Okay, so I'm going to share, um, my presentation here we go all right so now we're going to move into something um file sharing file uh, fi uh, file sharing file saving file saving is especially important in this class because again you're going to be working on computers with many other students many people have similar names you always want to have specific file names so you know exactly what it is that um that you're handing in Things are neatly organized, and the emphasis on this class is developing good work habits and uh, labeling your files, uh, which is going to be the digital output of any work that you do, uh, in an orderly and neat way so you can access it and find it and it's clear what it is, is crucial and important to this class. So the format that I want you to follow is first name, last name. First and last name uh, have to be capitalized. The first letter of each have to be capitalized. This is because sometimes first names and last names could sound, uh, a last name could sound like a first name, a first name could sound like a last name, or we wanna know where one name ends and one name begins. So it will make that distinction. We wanna put your period number because you may have somebody with a similar name in a different class. So this will make that distinct. And then um, the assignment, just be specific, and it could be all one word. So for example, um, Evan Schwartz, period two, moon survival. Okay, and that way we, we all know who it is it's from and what we're getting. Okay, so that's that. A second thing I wanna encourage you to do is to make a folder that may not have the assignment, but the class on it. First name, last name, period number, uh, DDP. And this will be where you can keep all your files in addition to uploading them onto your drive. So they're in two places, just in case they're not there when you use the same computer or whatever, then they're there in the drive and it's not a problem and we can move on stress-free, okay? So we've covered uh, getting assignments, uh, communicating through the stream, the engineer's notebook on Google Doc, and formatting your files. Let's move on to group work. Okay, where is that? Okay, group work. Group work um, is a really crucial part of the beginning part of DDP. Uh, we all wanna work together. This is because we wanna emphasize things like brain, brainstorming and uh, piling onto ideas and group work is the best way to go about doing that. So um, it also, it's better to have different perspectives and different views. And um, the more 
different views we can have from more people, the more informed we are, all right? So uh, group work is gonna be done using Zoom. And I'm going to, on these days um, that we're gonna be doing group work, I'm gonna be posting a link that everyone is going to be joining. And then from there, I'm gonna be breaking you up into breakout rooms, okay? Which will, the app itself will divide you into groups based on how many people are there or how many people I want in a group. So it's gonna do all the math for us and just break you up. Breakout rooms uh, put you in your own separate Zoom meetings with however many people are in your group. So you're in a separate meeting and it allows me to join you whenever I wanna drop in. Okay, so that's gonna be group work. All right, the almighty class expectations. All right, so we all have to occupy the same space. We are all learning together. And really what we wanna be is we want to be one big happy family. We want to create a safe environment for everyone to learn. And to do this, we just need to lay a few ground rules. Uh, respectful behavior towards all classmates, peers, and staff online and in person. And I want to stress online. Um, just because somebody is hiding behind a computer and not in person does not entitle you to be rude or to do things that you wouldn't normally do in person. We have to maintain the same level of respect um, towards other people, whether we're in person or online. And that means... Um, respectfully listening to ideas, even if you don't like the ideas or if you don't think they're smart ideas, um, having the respect towards one another to listen and engage with one another. During in-person instruction, maintaining COVID-19 safety rules, such as always wearing a mask and socially distancing, no physical contact will be tolerated inside the building. This may seem like common sense, but we really wanna drive this home. Uh, one point that I want to make is that there's no physical contact, and this goes for people that you may have quarantined with over the summer. Uh, if it's your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your cousin, you've been together all summer, it doesn't matter inside the building. Inside the building, everyone needs to be distant, okay? Um, so I just want to make that clear, and I thank you in advance for your cooperation. Uh, being punctual and showing up to class on time. You're your classes are scheduled the same way they would be, whether they're in person or remote. You can be on time, late or absent. Uh, you're all slotted to be uh, showing up at a certain time and it's expected that you do so um, regularly on time and you do that. All right, so a separate thing is keeping a tidy engineer's notebook. The ENB is gonna be the abbreviation that we use moving forward. This is a whole separate thing uh, that has to do with keeping good work habits. And you're gonna be expected to do that and you're gonna be held to a high standard. So neatness is crucial and keeping um, the format of what you're expected each page to look like, like consistent, all right? So if they all need page numbers or a date or a signature, uh, that all of those standards are met each day consistently and neatly. Meeting all instruction, exercises, assignments, projects, and deadlines assigned to you. Oh, this is just saying that we have high expectations for you here, and we expect that you live up to them and uh, do the very best you can at all times. And again, we thank you in advance. I personally thank you in advance on behalf of the school for, uh, all, for, um, for doing all of these things and making our environment that much more safe. Okay, moving on. Oh, forgot that part, the animation. Okay, all right, so moving on. The class contract. So this is gonna be your first grade. It's not gonna be your first assignment, but it'll be your first grade. I think I got animation, there we go. All right, so your class contract is gonna look like this. Your grading categories are here, and this is what it's gonna look like. You have minor assessments, um, which are half, of your grade and they combine homework, classwork, notebook, engineer notebook, um, particip participation in quizzes. So 50% for all of that and 50% for the major things like projects, tests, and papers. So when it all comes out, um, everything is somewhat equally weighted um, in the end, although summer 25, the minor assessments together um, equal 50. And um, they're really all the same as they would be um, in any normal 
class, um, but we're just doing this minor major assessment thing. But don't pay any attention to it. It's really the the percentages that you need to look at, not whether it's minor or major. That will only confuse you probably. So just um, know that um, it takes everything, all right, to make a whole grade. So don't skimp on things that you think are so quote unquote minor, but to do your best on all things and rise to the occasion at all times. Okay. So that was a lot. That was um, we covered how we're going to uh, move around this classroom, how you're going to be getting your work, how you're gonna be uploading things, how you're gonna be uh, starting and maintaining your engineer's notebook, how we're gonna be communicating with one another, we're going uh, how to format your files, um, the class contract, your expectations. That's a lot for one video. There's much more because it's the first day. So I've made three videos. Uh, some of some of my videos say four. Um, I included the first assignment as a fourth video, but uh, there's three that are covering the entirety of this course. So the next one is the course overview, and I'd like for you to um, move on to that, and I'll see you at the next video. Until then, take care. Thank <music> you.